is tea time cheers i am patricia moore and i come on here week to week to spill my tea by now if you don't know my tea is not gossip it is the good news that i want to share why because god is good if life is life and then we need to know how good god is and why it's important to have a relationship with him so i am spilling my own tea i am spilling tea of others that I get a chance to talk to and just talk about real life stuff that's going on so that we all can know that we're on this journey together. All right, what are we talking about today? Well, Wednesdays, I usually coin, you know, it started off Relationship Wednesday. So I'm going to keep with that theme. So in the spirit of Relationship Wednesday, I received this picture and the picture actually posed the question to me and I posted it on my stories, but I wanted to talk about it here because I thought this was a good conversation. It said, what is the most important part in a relationship? Is it one, sex, two, love, three, trust, four, time? Okay, so you have four cho choices. Now, off the rip, God says the most important of these is love. But I went a different angle, right? I went a totally different angle because when I first looked at it, I said, this is interesting. Why do I have to choose? Why should I have to choose? The scripture says Ephesians 3.20. This is in the NLT. Now all glory to God who is able through his mighty power at work within us to accomplish infinitely more than we might ask or think. In the TPT, which I love this version, it says, never doubt God's power to work in you and accomplish all of this. He will achieve infinitely more than your greatest request, your most unbelievable dream, and exceed your wildest imagination. He will outdo them all. For his miraculous power constantly energizes you. Well, if God says that you don't have to doubt him, that he will achieve infinitely more than your greatest request, then why should I have to choose one of those? Because if he's going to add to me, the scripture that pops up in my head is, seek ye first the kingdom of God, and all these things shall be added unto you. So if I seek God first, if I build a relationship based on God, where God comes first, he's at the center of it, then he'll add all these things to me. I think that post to me was more of like a today world post where we feel like we have to compromise, where we have to settle that, oh, maybe I can't have trust and sex, or maybe I can't have love and loyalty. Like I have to pick which one is more important to me. You know, your non-negotiables, which one can I like, uh, it's not that important. And I'll take these other three. But if I'm walking by faith, right and my and i have to extend this because my pastor talked about this this weekend there's one lord one faith one baptism one god and father of all who is over all in all and living through all that's ephesians 4 5 through 6. why did i bring that up because if i'm living by faith it's not my faith there's one faith where did the faith come from he told us we're living by jesus faith we should be living by jesus faith but we live often in our own understanding and faith. See, my faith has some doubt. My faith can be lukewarm. My faith has anxiety and worry. My faith will choose and think that I have to compromise and settle for something. When the truth is, God's faith says, don't doubt me. I can accomplish all of this. I can achieve infinitely more than your greatest request. So my request is, I want all of God's goodness, not just some of it. I don't want to pick and choose, you know, what I want. This is more important to me. All of it is important to me. All of it is important to God. He created love. He created sex. He created trust. He created loyalty. He created intimacy. These are all the things that he wants to add to you in a relationship. He just wants to be first and he wants you to have the faith like Jesus to believe that he can add this to you. So while we out here picking and choosing, just know that God's choice is that he wants you to have all of his goodness and glory. He wants you to receive it all, but you have to believe not by your own faith, 
but by the faith of Jesus, that all of that will be added unto you. Cheers.